Welcome in YouTube. My name is Deggy UK. I'm a content creator. However, today, my very first ever football vlog. I am a Luton Town home season ticket holder, but also go to many away games as well. And I'm going to try and make this a good series if you do like the video. If you do, please do subscribe. Let me know in the comments how I did. And obviously, if you were at the game, how your thoughts were as well. But let's get into today's video. We are home to Grimsby Town in the FA Cup. Let's look at the opponents, Grimsby Town. They currently sit 16th in League 2 with 30 points. 10 points from the safety, 10 points from uh, the playoffs. Their last game was due to be on Tuesday, just gone. However, unfortunately, uh, it was postponed due to frozen pitch. So you never know whether that's uh, helped them due to the fact that they're not going to be as tired legs. Um, we'll soon see. The previous game, they unfortunately lost 5-0 to Swindon Town. They lined up, um, I was looking, as a 4-4-2. So it'll be interesting to see how they line up today. Because previously to that, to get to where they are today, they beat Burton 1-0, who's League One side. They played a 4-1-4-1 uh, in that, which they had a holding midfielder behind the actual midfield line. And they had one strike up top. Then previous to that, they played like, a very similar formation to how Luton play, where we play three at the back and our win backs, and then our three at the top with Otis Khan as the goal scorer, who notably is the second top goal scorer on five goals and three assists. Um, Harry Clifton, one to watch if he does play, who's currently their top goal scorer on six goals with two assists as well. I've just noted as well a key player, someone from Burnley or previously, and Liverpool in their youth setup, Anthony Driscoll Glennon, who uh, is currently their top assist with six, and he is a currently a left back. So whether he's the guy that plays in the sort of wing back position um, to obviously create these assists, we'll have to keep an eye and watch out. One of the most famous alleyways around for the football fans to uh, observe. Very clean today. Here we go, you guys. Game day. Luton Town versus Grimsby. We're now at the uh, main stand. And uh, something unique about this ground is that uh, just down there is the car park for the main players, the executives, and directly underneath us, the other side of this bridge, is where you go in for the main reception. This is the ground, this is where F block is, um, and where I will be sitting above. Here we go, this is where everyone talks about the famous away end, Oak Road. See all the Grimsby fans. Coming down here, they've got the whole of Oak Road today. Here we go. So this is one of the two entrances in. This is where normally the home fans are when we haven't got the full stand occupied. Just score predictions today. Two one. Two one. Grimsby. Grimsby. No worries. Any star players that you you think may uh, do well today? Harry Clifton. Harry Clifton. Yeah. Perfect. Cheers for that, lads. Enjoy right. the game. Hey uh, guys, score prediction today. Two one town. Two, two one. Town. Two one town. Two one town. Perfect. Last minute. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Here we are, we're coming out towards the end of the beach path now, coming into Kenilworth Road. Where the home fans sit. One of the many burger vans around. We're going up towards the club shop.
One nil down half time. Um, my thoughts of the game so far that we're going forward, uh, looking a bit threatening. However, just the final ball is just not there at the moment. Every time we cross it in on corners, it's been floated in. The keeper's coming for it. Um, hopefully, second half and better. They've, to be fair, they probably had the better chances out of the lot. Uh, they had one as it come over the top, a volley on the uh, on the volley straight over, tried to lob in the keeper, and a good save by Horvath. Um, and then obviously the goal that you've just seen on the uh, replay but hopefully second half we can mix it up a bit um, and create some more chances Cornick's coming on I think he'll probably be swapped out for Morris eventually but um, yeah so far so good hopefully um, second half we'll see 2-1 and um, push through to the next round um, let's see how it goes hey lads what's your half time thoughts then? Um, yeah I think we played pretty well yeah what do you think score's going to be second half then? 2-1 Luton, yeah? We're all over 2-1 Luton, yeah? Who do you think is going to score then? Uh, Adebayo. Adebayo, yeah? Cornick. Cornick. Morris is going to get subbed on. Yeah. Goal. Goal, perfect. Tell us thoughts. We were very unlucky. We played him off the park. And there's been stabbing there. 1-0 down to a crappy goal. But I Goal of Morris, second half. Hopefully, Edwards decides to go attack it. Let's have Cornick off. Let's have. Penny off. Woodrow. Penny by O. And Morris up front. Right, mate. And he's moving to one. Two one finish. You got it there. Adebayo steps up.
Okay, back at home now after reflection disappointing result for Luton especially seeing as that we uh, have another game we've now got to play on a Tuesday night however it does mean we get to go to Grimsby so uh, that's uh, even better I think we had a lot of the possession we just couldn't create the final third ball it was we we're a lot going forward but just floating in keeper for them did really well today Harry Clifton getting a goal for them I thought Jordan Clark played excellent for us and got man of the match and picked up a goal as well. Um, it was obviously good to see Cornick on a run out. Is that going to be his last game? Who knows? Um, however, obviously, Rob Edwards did say in his uh, post-match that uh, we will be very strong come the end of the transfer window. Whether that's him here or not is another matter. Um, however, yeah, fair play to Grimsby today. They uh, They come fighting. They got what they needed. They're going back to their ground now and they hung on the draw so uh yeah if you did like today's video guys please do drop us a uh, subscription on youtube if you'd also want to put yourself in the comments let us know what i did how i did and also what you thought of the game as well and hopefully we'll see you on the next one take care guys